Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. All good things must come to an end. Vox Machina is no different. I love this show. I've hoped that this show would last a long time. It looks like it's going to get more seasons because... From what I understand, season three was already approved, along with uh, the uh, the other campaign that they have done. Yeah, Critical Role basically uh, with the next campaign, uh, it looks like they're uh, you know they're gonna be doing more, and I'm happy. I also got curious while editing, and I watched some of the scenes from the previous one in the campaign. Scan one, and finding out about uh, his Kaylee, daughter. Yeah. Pretty freaking similar, except for the whole part about, like, Leah or whatever it didn't actually happen. But actually, like, several of the things that he said were actually things he said in the campaign, like, while role-playing. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty cool. Like, especially, like, my heart's breaking a hundred times and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. It's like, uh, that I didn't know before. The other thing was I was curious about the dragon encounter because I had to know if they really flew up the dragon's asshole. They did not actually. Uh, they Damn. were their objective was uh, it was still the two of them, Scanlan and uh, Vax. Vax, yeah. And their objective was they were going to attempt to dimensional door inside of this dragon's stomach. And Matt had Scanlan roll because he was like, "So your anatomy of dragons is not like the best," and like apparently, I think Keyleth or someone tried to give him information ahead of time and such. Mm-hmm. And he had to roll for making sure that whenever they dimensional doored into the dragon, they ended up in the stomach. And instead, they ended up being crushed by two fleshy walls. And I didn't really see what happened after that. But, it, you know, they were assuming, and I'm assuming that they were... In the butt. Yeah, or in, in the bowel. In the sphincter. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think it's funnier with, like, them flying in there. Yeah, definitely. That was, that was easily one of the funniest moments in the entire show, yeah. period. And I guarantee you, uh, were they right or assist in writing this? They probably were thinking to themselves, how could we have made this flow smoother and, you know, funnier? Mm. What would work better in terms of the visuals of, they a, definitely of added a film more. or a show? Like, it definitely has the uh, the spirit of the original events, but they definitely added to it and oh, yeah. made it even better, too. Uh, it's like, another thing, Scanlan didn't just, like, walk in and take off all his clothes and get tied to the bed. Like, he was sitting in the chair and they were drinking wine when she told him. Ah. So, it, like, they he was fully planning, like, you know, that they were probably going to, you know, bone. Have a, was, yeah, was have his some plan, fun. But, like, it wasn't, like, the whole bondage comedy aspect of it. <laughs> so, like, which, that, that was something they added that just made it all the funnier, you Which, know? Scanlan's a bit of a freak, so, yeah. you know, that's... Uh, it, it's fitting of his character. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh... Go ahead and get into this. This is episode 12 of season 2. This is the finale, The Hope Devourer. And freed the city of Westron from its tyranny. The rest of Vox Machina also contributed in minor yet unspecific ways. Wait, what? The end. Ooh, read it again, (laughs) Grandfather. Wake up? I... uh, Scanlan, come on, man. Open your eyes! <laughs> Come on, wake up! Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it threw out the dragon's eyes. Or the camera did. That was their plan? Go up its ass? Well, we are talking about <laughs> Scanlan. Oh. The mighty falcon. Giant bird. No, strong jump. No, thank God. Oh, shit. Oof. Oof. Ow. Ow. Oh. Yeah. Hello, hello. What made the boom on the mountain, then? It was him. There you go. Wrong. Oh, no. Oh, his chest. The Titan's done nothing. Oof. Yeah, he buffed up. 
Making it easy for him to take the hit. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. Hang on, Croc. Hang on. I think it'll be alright. A little indigestion there, big guy. Oh, so fuck. Shit. Oh, you fisted them. He fisted him through. He fucking ha. Nice fisting back there. Where's the practice? <laughs> oh crap. Matron, I need you. Wings. Oh, oh damn! That's cool as hell. Got you, buddy. You have wings. wings. Oh man, I am so in love with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't finish. It's okay, Pikey. I'm feeling way better. <laughs> Easy. Wow, Fax. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I have a broom, and you get fucking wings. Nah. We need to hurry. We did chase it out of Western. Maybe that's enough. We tore through its stomach and didn't even slow it down. We've all had our moments where we want to walk away, but this can't be one of them. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. You're injured. Am I? Impressive. Fucking dragons, dude. Now is not the time for cowardice. Ouch. They just stare right at him, huh? I'll be back in a flash. Remember. The safe word is Jenga. <laughs> I don't want to let her down anymore, you know? Let who down? Just tell her. My daughter. Kaylee? If you don't want to let her down anymore, then don't. Nothing worth having in this world comes easy. Never has, never will. Damn. Only got that. Only got that Sonic the Hedgehog shit. Oh man. Well, shit. I had a bad roll. Your armor is mine now, little Raven. Damn. It's a pretty powerful move. Eyes up. I was going to say, if I'm her, you know where I'm aiming? Right here. He pierced that, he loses his ability to spit acid. It's a dirty trick. I've got you, Vax. You going, Keyleth? Shot. Get us the fuck out of here now. We're scaling. Shanga. It's okay. Huh? You're safe. We're not running. How many times do I have to say this? We can't. Win! What, uh, what if we leave and come back with help? No, damn it, we'd never return in time. There you are. Oh, no. Don't you people see? We're supposed to be here. You are supposed to be here. Screw your matron. She doesn't control my destiny. No, Scanlan. You do. You'd have to do a hell of a lot, right? Facts. I... Way to interrupt, asshole. Spicy. Oh, yeah. Very spicy. Oh, that's a bit cheap. Fucking hell. Damn, Pike. Gonna hurt. You on me, fuck bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What a dick. Grog! So what are you prepared to do? Do something before your whole team dies. Please. Screw that. Really, dude. From all I've heard, it figures you'd run. That was a mistake. Holy shit. Scanlan. Oh no. of divergence. Two. <laughs> this was mine. No! <laughs> Don't be afraid, Scanlan. <laughs> oh! Point in the eye. Right in your fucking eye there, arsehole. Oh! -ho! Kick ass. Oh, I just one shot a dragon. <laughs> Took the whole fucking side of his head off. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Ah. Your daughter would have been proud. And I'm in love with you too, Scanlan. <laughs> Wait! You're alive, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, what's that glow? A shit ton of gold. Oh, yeah. Fuck ton of treasure. Of course, that, you know, belongs to all the people. Yes. I think that's exactly what they plan to do. They... The hell? You got the vestige, now you get the magic key? I killed the dragon, didn't I? We all precipitated. Oh, no, yes, that was... Yeah. Yeah. Precipitated. <sighs> well, there we go. Well, I thought you'd run back there. He almost did. I almost did. Then I realized, even if I don't believe in that matron stuff, you do. And I believe in you. I raise a glass to Vox Machina. Cheers. To Vox Machina. <laughs> Hear my words. Think before you act. Understand Wait. that not all is as it seems. Wait. Oh no. More than a mere dragon, I think. A member of the Chroma Conclave. Raishan. I come to you as an ally. I hate Thordak as much as you. A new army awaits. An army that will soon inherit this world. And bring glory oh, to the Chroma no. Conclave. Oh, shit. Damn it. Well, that sucks. Man, I swear, every time you think that you've got like you've got a good beat on things, all of a sudden the dragons are just like <laughs> reproduction, <laughs> and then that's that. Game over. Game set match. Jesus. Uh, so yeah, apparently, Thordak is reproducing. I. It, I mean. I'm not sure, well, they are rep, I mean, dragons are typically seen as reptiles, so reptiles can actually change their sex uh, in certain regards. So, yeah, I mean, Thordak laying eggs, or did Thordak bring those with him for, from somewhere else? I, I don't know. Perhaps Thordak made the lady dragon lay the eggs maybe so maybe that's part of why she dislikes him maybe and maybe it's because uh, well she realizes that her children are going to be forced into doing his bidding regardless that would suck that as a parent you know it's like one parent having all the power and basically just being like yeah it's like uh, i have all the power so yeah i don't gotta do anything for you and it's just yeah anyway this and, uh, I uh, saw that apparently 
after the Chroma Conclave, they did at least two more giant arcs in their campaign. So there's a possibility that this show could actually have quite a few more seasons. I would say if they have five, that would be a great run. But given we just went through the first third, I think, of the Chroma Conclave campaign, because we went through the first third... I would say we'll be in this will wrap up in season four um at the at the maximum I would say or at the minimum I think I and don't know there's even the possibility well I think actually he mentioned uh, when he was reading the book at the beginning of the episode that first arc mm-hmm I was gonna say they could up always revisit that first arc. Crag Hammer. Uh, yeah, they may not, since they've already kind of mentioned it. Like it's happened in the past. Maybe I. I don't know. There's but there's a lot to go from, and given how long the campaign continued and how long it has been beloved by by their fans and everything, honestly, I'm not against them. I'm not against them like making dragging this out as long as they want to, as long as it's entertaining. That's that's my thing. As long as it maintains this level of entertainment and fun and uh, just uh, continuing to tell a good story, I'm in. I mean, there's some shows I've seen 10 seasons worth and I'm just like, I was like, more, more, give me more. Uh, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Whew. So anyway, that's it for season one or season two of uh, Vox Machina. Damn. And I would say this season was better than, or was just as good as, if not better than, the first season. Mm -hmm. I'd say it, it equaled or exceeded the like everything that the first season put out there. So yeah, I guess uh, we'll see how uh, the rest of the, the rest of this plays out. I mean, unfortunately, Lance Reddick won't be back as Thordak for obvious reasons. But, I mean, I guess I, I have faith in the showrunners for this because I think Amazon, for the most part, is staying out of the way and they're just letting them tell a good story. And that's what needs to happen. This does not need micromanaging at all. You just need to let them cook. That's all that needs to happen. So please, Amazon, please continue to let them cook. Unless they've already been micromanaging and it got this result, in which case I guess keep doing what you've been doing. Well, no, from what I understand, like the they're very ha like Amazon is very hands off hmm. with the uh, overall production. Like they they so as long as they keep bringing in views, I don't I think Amazon won't give a shit. Yeah. I think Amazon will just be like, well, just keep doing it, keep keep doing that, man. And I agree. Please keep doing it. All right, though. Anyway, that's going to do it. This was uh, Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 12, The Hope Devourer. This was the finale for Season 2. Season 3, uh, I guess we'll see y'all next year. And uh, for now, until then, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.